In this cartoon, the these uh, three individuals are marveling, and and they're baffled at the paradox uh, with the global warming. They're saying that it's supposed to be global warming, but yet you have these record-breaking uh, winter storms and so on, the icing and and the freezing and the, and the depth of cold. And uh, you know, I've been looking at this whole global warming thing, and I feel it's just a fad. I, I think that there's definitely something out there. It's hotter, it's colder, and whatever. But the, the explanation they're given, I don't buy it. They're saying carbon dioxide is the problem. I was uh, subbing in an economic class once, and um, we I brainstormed. You no know, sub planner just showed up, and I looked at some issues that could affect the economy. And I'm trying to ask them, why do you think they're blaming carbon dioxide with this global warming uh, as the culprit? And um, I say, well, what are the, um, by, how do we get carbon dioxide out there? Manufacturing, vehicles, and, 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 and sort of first world um, sort of activities. I say, well, this is why the, the blame is that. Um, I, I recall, um, this Indian motivational speaker that was with Michael Jackson there, Tupac, um, um, Chupra. He said that um, one, you teach in a graduate school in, a, so I think, the University of Chicago or something like that. He said, uh, what should be a concern as an executive? You know, protect the environment. But yet, India don't protect no environment. But he's trying to do is steer business off to India. You say, well, no, I'm not going to pollute our, in uh, our environment, but it's a necessary process, and you need to make that money and so on. So you shift over to, to India, and they make the money, and they come rich, and, and he's, you know, happy, okay? So uh, they're trying to cut back on our, our production and uh, make us feel guilty of driving our vehicles. Um, I think that we need to blame God. God is the one that causes this global warming uh, mixed up because... Um, he's the one that caused the flood and to cause the flood the water came from above and covered the earth and the water didn't go back up and that water was instrumental in, in, in control and it was like climate control because at nights it would give out the heat that was stored during the day okay as it keep going around so by the time morning uh, it's beginning to get mm, you know a little bit you know cooler and then sun comes up again so you're having a perpetual kind of early um, fall or a high spring, not no summer blistering, nor no winter times. There was no winter and there was no summer. It was just a cool, temp comfortable temperature. But then, of course, um, yeah, God is what it caused the flood, but it's because of man evil. And uh, fellows were doing some extraordinary stuff. They were uh, doing um, bonding. Uh, bonding is uh, what's the word when they take one animal and. Uh, take the genes and and, and and mix it up all kind of stuff they're doing uh, they were doing to trees and with themselves because originally humans were of a different caliber but they did all this amalgamation and all these changing things uh, in the beginning God created everything he said all these plants are good good to be eaten you could eat every other one except this tree here but today you can't go out and eat all those trees they're poisoned up uh, all over the place so these humans went out and tried to uh, create new plants and end up having thorns and sm foul smelling uh, trees and um, poisonous ones, thorns, um, and a variety of other things. Um, you, uh, of course, God maybe created, let me say, dogs. But then they mix in this dog with that dog and this one with the uh, coyote and so on. And you're having some vicious ones. Um, some dogs in Florida, Jacksonville, you hear them, um, you know, doing the, uh, the coyote howl uh, uh, in the evenings or during the day. And it is reminiscent of that sort of thing that he has within him. And so basically, um, yeah, I mean, we have in two extremes, hotter places, rising water, and... Um, uh, and, and colder temperatures so um, I, I don't think that necessarily we need to cut back our production or, or use our vehicle because of global warming I mean God himself said he's gonna you know make the sun hot and men gonna be scorching and all this kind of stuff so maybe we head in there